guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and this is the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless. It is a messaging phone, and it has sort of the same design, same style as the NV line of phones. Sort of like the NV3, it has a front panel with just a dialing pad, but then you can flip it open, and it has a full physical QWERTY keyboard. It's available from Verizon right now for $99.99 on contract and after rebates. So kind of a hefty price tag, but then again, it is a very solid messaging phone. And so just got it from the folks at Verizon. Thank you so much for sending it to us. And I'm gonna do a quick unboxing right now, give you my first impressions, and then come back in about three to five days and have a full review for you guys. So it's the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. How do you like the straight hair? I decided to get rid of the curly and go with the straight. I don't know, it's, it's sort of a, it's, I'm working with it. Anyway, let's go check it out. All right, so this is the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless. Uh, this is actually the follow-up to the LG NV Touch, uh, or the LG NV3. I'm sorry, it does not have a touch screen. So, you know, basically a messaging phone. The NV lines were very popular as messaging devices, um, you know, just in the top tier of messaging devices, really. And so it's a new name, but same basic style. So we'll see if it lives up to all of the hype. This is the device. Again, not a touch screen, but you can flip it open and you have a fuller display and then your keypad with the uh, D-pad, keyboard with a D-pad, and a camera on the back. Let's see what else is in the box before we get on to all of that. USB data cable, micro USB I'm assuming for plugging into the phone, yes and a modular USB charger. I know if you watch these if you watch these videos all the time, you already know what comes in the box and so you're like, oh my gosh, just get onto the phone. But some people, you know, they've never seen this before. So tips, hints, tips, hints, and shortcuts. And it's really interesting. The box has this weird sort of like gritty design to it. Not gritty as in a grid, but like, like grit, you know, like dirt and stuff. Um, sort of an interesting design. And then you can see it there. I'm not really sure what they were going for, but um, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm glad they got a new design. It's, it's very exciting. Okay, enough about the box. <laughs> this is the device and, ooh, it's not focusing. There we go. Let's power it on and take off any protective film. Ah. This is my favorite part. This is why I got into reviewing cell phones, just so I could take off a little protective film. That's not true, I'm just kidding. But you know, it'd be funny if it were true, right? No, okay. So I'm, I'm just looking for more protective film, that's all. Okay, got all of that off. So this front display is just, you know, for basic functions, you know, viewing your contacts, probably viewing messages, um, you know, maybe some tools and such. And then you have, you know, your dialing pad here, and then once you open it up, press OK again. And then once you open it up, you have a, a better display. This is a 2.6 inch display, QVGA resolution, so 320 by 240. And it looks nice. Uh, you know, you have sort of an animated wallpaper there, which you can change, of course. And then the UI looks very similar to the LG and V. Uh, line, whether it's the NV3 or the NV Touch, you have two soft keys to go to, you know, functionality will depend on which program you're using, and then menu, obviously there's no button here, so you use the center button to access that. And then you have send, power end, clear, uh, speaker, and then your keyboard. And the keyboard, uh, it looks like a very nice design. The keys are pretty flat, but there's sort of that weird uh, sort of doming, uh, sort of a slant at the bottom of each key. And so let me head over to messaging and we'll take a look at that. You can choose, no, I didn't want to go to help. Messages, view messages by time. I prefer it that way. New message, text message. Okay, so let's see. The quick brown fox jumps. I like the keyboard so far um, over the, I didn't type um, I didn't. I said um, but I didn't type it. And oh, where's the back button? Is it that? No. Um, maybe clear? Oh, there we go, okay. Duh. 
lazy dog. Um, yeah, I like the keyboard. I, I know in the past I have complained about the spacebar being in between the V and the B. And I, I decided, I made a vow to myself that I was not going to, you know, let that, you know, automatically make me dislike the keyboard. I decided to give it a chance, even if it does have the space bar in between the V and the B. So, um, yeah, so far I like it. I usually don't like this, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe, maybe it won't be too bad. You do have a dedicated number row and then some shortcuts down here, function shift, uh, probably an email shortcut key. Um, interestingly, in the PR notes that I was given, I'm told that it has a new mobile email client, uh, version 4.0. So that's actually a shortcut to go to text messaging. Um, so it does have email access. There we go, mobile email. And so, you know, since it's a new version, I guess I'll, uh, I'll test it out and, and see how it goes. Um, so then going back to the camera, it is a 3.2 megapixel camera. You also have a flash, which is very nice. It also has autofocus and it captures video. Underneath here, uh, we have the battery. It's a 950 milliamp hour battery. So by estimates, this would give you about six hours of talk time and then 14 days of standby time. I seriously doubt it will last 14 days on standby, but you know, you gotta, Aim for the, what, what's that saying? Reach for the, aim for the moon. If you miss, at least you'll fall among the stars or something cheesy like that, I don't know. And then you have your volume rocker right there, uh, dedicated camera button, micro USB charging port, and then the micro SD card slot. It doesn't come with a card, um, but it does support up to 16 gigs of uh, external memory. And then your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I'm not sure. I used to be able to tell. I could just look at it and say that it was 3.5, but for some reason, I've, okay, it's 2.5. I thought it looked small, but I just, I had to test it out. And then nothing on the top. I like the design. Um, you know, it's very, it, it looks nice. I like the design of these buttons. Um, you know, it makes it look like not a cheap phone. It makes it look really cool. And then having sort of these chrome metallic accents right there. And you do have shortcut buttons here on the front for contact, send, end, and clear. So that's just a quick first look at the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless, sort of taking over the Envy line of phones. Um, you know, who knows if we're gonna see the Envy Pro, which was supposedly, you know, the Envy Touch with Android. I don't know, it was canceled and then maybe it wasn't canceled, I don't know. But for now we have the Octane. It feels nice and solid. Um, feels like a great messaging device. It's smaller uh, than the Envy, than the original Envy phone. So you can see this is the Envy Touch, um, and so it's a little bit smaller. So, you know, do expect that. It's definitely a smaller device, but, you know, basically the same thickness and then same basic design in terms of, you know, sh buttons and keyboard and things like that. But anyway, it's the Octane from Verizon Wireless, and we will have much more info on this phone and other phones on phonedog.com as well as our Facebook page. Be sure and check out that because right now you can enter to win one of 100 iPads or um, two tickets to these 2011 Super Bowl. So very exciting and of course we also do uh, live chats with you guys every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. We change the time um, just so you know more people could come. And so check out our Facebook page. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, uh, my screen name is It's My Job to Know. So you can follow me and, you know, ask me any questions. But be sure and keep it on PhoneDog.com. I am Sydney from PhoneDog.com, obviously. And I will see you guys later. Adios. <laughs>